Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to draw the Voorhees Viking. So you're going to need a piece of paper, pencil, and maybe a black marker and some crayons or colored pencils, whatever you would like to color with later on. We're first going to start near the top of our paper by drawing a large square. Now a square means that all sides are about the same length. This is going to be the head of our Viking. Next we're going to draw the eyes, so we're going to use two medium sized circles inside of that square. And then we're going to draw two more smaller circles inside those medium circles for the pupils of the eyes. We can draw some eyelashes. It could be a boy viking or a girl viking. Just remember if I'm going too fast you could always pause the video and press play when you're ready. Now to make the nose you want to draw a rainbow line. You can add ears using a backward C and a regular C coming from the sides of the head. For the lips you could draw just a simple smile or you could draw a curved line like a smile. Add an M for the top lip and then draw a horizontal line through the center. Next we're going to make the Viking helmet. At the top of the head you want to add a very very skinny rectangle going across horizontally. Then in the center of that skinny rectangle going vertically up and down we're going to draw another rectangle. You're going to connect the two rectangles from the left side to the left side of the middle rectangle using a curved line, then the same on the right side. You can add detail to the Viking helmet by adding a half circle and then two smaller circles going down the center of the helmet. Next we're going to draw the horns. So you're going to start on the right side drawing a diagonal line up and over and then a short vertical line going up towards the top of the paper. And you're going to repeat this on the left side. This is the top part of our horn. After we do this, we're going to be drawing the bottom part of our horn and connecting the two lines. Now for the bottom part of our horn. You're going to create a diagonal line like the first, but a tad bit longer on the right side, and then connect the two with a curved line. And you're going to do the same thing to the left side, a diagonal line almost as long as the first, maybe a little longer, and then connect with a curved line. Next let's add some hair. This viking I'm going to make a girl, but you can make it a boy just like the first one in the beginning of the video. So I'm adding a wavy line from the helmet down past the ears and then across to the side of the head. We have to make the body next. So we're going to draw another square connected to the head going down to create the body. Now to separate the shirt from the pants, we're going to draw the belt. So a horizontal rectangle with a smaller one inside for the belt buckle and then two horizontal lines across on the right and two on the left to create the belt. I'm going to add some detail to the top of the shirt. So I'm going to draw a vertical line from the bottom of the head to the belt buckle and then add two X's to create some stitching. Next we're going to draw the Viking's feet. So we're going to use two half circles that start at the bottom outside of the body, then curve up and over into the body and then down and connect that half circle with a horizontal line. You're going to do the same thing for the right foot. Now you have two horizontal lines that are drawn going through the feet. You want to take your eraser and erase them carefully. The last thing we need to do for this viking is we need to draw the arms. So we're going to draw the right arm first. You're going to start where the two squares meet and you're going to draw a diagonal line down and over and around toward the body, curving at the bottom. Then you can add another diagonal line on both arms for the sleeves. Now I almost forgot one thing. You need to draw the Viking's eyebrows. So right above the eye you want to draw a curved line like a sad face and then a second one doubling it and connecting it to the first. If you want you can add a small circle to the top right area of the pupil and then color the medium circle in. That will make the eyes look like they are glistening. If 
Feel free to add any other details, maybe some earrings if you're making a girl, or maybe some details on the shirt like a little flower. Next very important step is to make sure you trace your drawing. Now you could use a black marker or any color marker you want, but it is extremely important to trace because tracing makes your drawing stand out, especially if you're going to color it. So you wanna go ahead and slowly trace your drawing. And after you're done tracing your entire drawing, you wanna take your eraser and carefully erase any pencil marks you might see. You always wanna do this before you color. Feel free to color in your Viking however you choose. You don't have to use the same colors that I'm using. Remember to be creative and have fun. I hope you enjoyed drawing the Voorhees Viking. <laughs>